podcast and you're watching Sound Advice. In this video, I'll give you five ways to add rhythm to your solos and uh, lead parts. So maybe you're like me, all these years when I started playing guitar, I always thought that the left hand was the most important, was the main part of the playing, so I focused on that. But I think I was wrong and I was really missing something because I realized that the right hand uh, gives the soul and sets the mood uh, to your playing. Uh, it can really change everything, even if you're not playing many notes with your left hand on the fretboard. Um, you just need a nice rhythm to add some texture to your playing and it changes everything. So today we'll mainly focus on the right hand. I'm really not a funk player, but I think that the first way I want to talk to you about mostly comes from funk music. It's about the way of combining the right hand hitting the strings uh, with your pick and the left hand muting um, some strings on the fretboard. So for example, instead of playing this, you could play like this. So it's more uh, fuller, richer, richer tone, and it adds life to your, I think it adds life to your playing. Um, so what I'm doing is that with the right hand, I'm just hitting every string, every strings. Um, and uh, the left hand is gonna mute every string that I don't wanna hear. For example, the low E string is gonna be muted by the thumb, and the D string, G string and B string um, are going to be muted by the index uh, that is slightly resting on these strings. So you can only hear the A string ringing. And uh, you can also add some muted strokes in between the notes you're playing. Another way to include uh, some rhythm and add some life to your playing could be to simply add some chords to your solos. For example, something like that. Start with a chord progression and then you can add some lead uh, notes little by little. And I think this works really well when you're playing on your own and you're playing alone and you don't want to sound like you're playing alone. Um, so um, yes, it makes you sound richer. Uh, but if you're playing with a band, be careful to follow the chord progression. So if we're going in the same direction than the previous example, uh, instead of playing entire chords, you could uh, just be playing octave, for example. Um, so power chord position without the ring finger and mixed with what I told you earlier about uh, hitting all the strings with the right hand, with the pick, and muting what you don't need um, with the left hand, you could have a cool effect. Emphasize uh, some of the strokes. So way number four, use the ghost notes. For example, instead of playing this, you could play. You hear the popping uh, sound in between each note. So I'm just muting the A string with the left hand again. Uh, hitting with the pick and then yes I'm I'm adding a muted stroke in between each note so this is if you're playing with a pick or a chicken picking but you can also just use your finger um, for example if you know the Sultans of Swing solo by Dire Straits Matt Knopfler um, uses a lot of ghost notes in his playing uh, for example So I'm playing three uh, notes, but only the last one is ringing. So it's thumb, index, uh, middle finger, uh, and I'm not applying pressure. I'm just um, resting my index on these three strings. 
and then when I want to hear the note I'm just putting more pressure. The last way, the way number five, could be finger picking. I think it's really important to use your fingers. Um, it can create different atmospheres. Uh, for example, what I, I like doing is um, keeping my thumb um, going on the A string and for the bass uh, line and then um, uh, create like a lead part with other fingers, like the middle finger, for example. move uh, because I, I was only staying on the A string for the bass but you can of course you can move you can find some different chord progressions and uh, have fun like that so I hope that this video is going to help you express yourself in new different ways um, and give you some helpful tool for the for your playing um, I think it can be helpful when you're playing alone on your own and you don't have a band um, You can't hide behind anybody else. So it's uh, you have to sound good and I think that adding rhythm to your playing uh, can be um, fun catchy because it catches people attention easily, I think um, and uh, Yeah, and you can sound better um, and it's not that complicated to, to play. So try to see what works best for you. You don't have to include every examples that we saw together in uh, every solo that you're playing, but just try what you like best. And uh, more importantly, have fun. And thank you for watching Sound Advice.